before I get on out of here for the day, um, let me go to some of these text messages uh, that people sent. Uh, what is this? At hunch OJT underscore writes thoughts on Latina women. I love them. I love me a Spanish speaking woman. I really, really, really do. I love it. Now, that ain't all you got to have. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to have it, but I mean, it is a plus. A bilingual women, specifically Spanish, whispering in your ear, you know, it's a beautiful thing. It's a, it's, it's a beautiful thing. I will acknowledge that. So no shade on the Latina women whatsoever. Let me throw that out there. Let me throw that out there. Uh, at Trez Wynn, W-I-N-N, writes, most overrated band slash group of your lifetime. I'm not qualified to say that. If you were overrated, I didn't listen to you much. And I didn't listen to you extensively enough to say which is which. I can tell you my favorite artist of all time, Michael Jackson. I can tell you Prince wasn't far behind. I can tell you that I think Bruno Mars is the closest thing to the modern day Michael Jackson or Prince there is. Because Bruno Mars is that dude, but Usher's nothing. To, he's no slouch. And I'm looking forward to seeing him perform Super Bowl week. I can tell you those things, but I can't talk to you about band. I'm not a white boy. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't like, you know, Van Halen and The Who and U2 and and Coldplay. I mean, I like Coldplay, you know, I like I like Jump with Van Halen. You know what I mean? I like It's a Beautiful Day by U2. It's a beautiful day. See, you didn't think I knew that, did you? I do like that stuff, but I don't know. I don't know. OK. At Amir, A-M-I-E-R, 770-52218. Is it harder to date now than back in the day? Or is it harder to date now than back in the day? Well, I would say this. I think it's harder for women. I really do. Men, we outnumber y'all like 17 to 1. And that's not taking into account the gay and the incarcerated population. The number's even bigger once you take that into account. So men have a lot more options than women. And not only that, you're a woman, you got to protect yourself and guard yourself because you've got some salacious men out there that's just after one thing with the dogs they are at times, which is just disgusting and terrible. It's not good. Okay? You should be thoughtful and sincere. You take a woman out of the day, in all seriousness, all joking aside, let me not joke about this. When you take a woman out of the date, if you're one of the fellas, how you treat a woman matters. Open the, open the door. You know what I'm saying? Remember, remember Big Daddy Kane? You, this is for the love in you. you want, do I need to break that down to you? The opening verse. He used to do that principle. Dun, 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 And that was the name. That was the music. And these are the lyrics. He said, take it from a man who does it real smooth. Or that yo baby, yo baby, it's not the move. This was in the 80s. You got to treat him with respect, never neglect, try to protect, most of all, project some intellect. Presenting yourself proper is important if you truly do want to. So be a gentleman and be in a corner. Make her feel like the most. For example, forget good fellas and take her to see ghost. Wine and dine under candlelight. Make them move right tonight while the stars are bright. Then hop in the hot tub and start to rub her on her back. Yeah, they like that. Satisfaction guaranteed. You got to give the woman what she needs. These days, they don't be falling for no phony Casanova since they started watching Oprah. So even if it's not your style, open the door for them once in a while. Even buying them some flowers don't hurt. Yeah, it sounds old fashioned, but it works. Conversation, good communication only makes things better in a relation. See, if you keep watching the game every week, you might find out your wife's getting dunked by Dominique. And that could be so upsetting. So try a little tenderness like Otis Redding. Get, put the gangster approach on pause and I dedicate this to you and yours. And then he says, this is for the lover in you. Big Daddy Kane. That's late 80s. One of the smoothest verses I've ever heard. It still applies all of these years later. That's what you do on a date. Whether it's with a woman you're trying to get or it's with a woman you have. Notes, fellas. Notes. You can thank me later. 
Next up, at underscore Guerreros, G-U-E-R-R-E-R-O-S. If aliens were to come down to Earth and we had to send one person to go greet them, who would be your ideal human ambassador? That's the dumbest ass question I've ever heard in my life. I don't have an answer, but I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Who would I say? Let me say somebody nice, somebody to, somebody wouldn't want to kill. Somebody who's versatile enough to communicate on all of our behalves. How about Tom Hanks? I mean, damn, if you could do a movie where you're on an island and you go and, and, and you make a movie out of just you and the ball for crying out loud that you were talking to. I mean, what's there to say? Can't doubt him. Go with Tom Hanks. Ben. His Twitter handle at CTRL. That's control dub. If it's the last meal of your life, what are you having? Well, they don't really go together, but. My mama's turkey wings and my sister Carmen's lasagna. That's what I would say. 